Welcome to INFORM. My name is Dr. Tai Kiju. I'm basically the laboratory coordinator for INFORM. INFORM is basically a research institute. We have a multitude of different laboratories and all these laboratories are being managed properly by our research officers as well as our scientific officers. The main research work focus of the group is on antibody engineering. We are looking at various genetic variations that influence antibody responses mainly in antibody maturation processes. This is aimed at correlating preferential antibody gene usages in different diseases in comparison to healthy population. The collection of antibody libraries is then used to develop and customize antibodies mainly for diagnostics and as well as therapeutics. The core technology we use for antibody engineering is phage display. The work under the high COE program on antibody engineering has allowed us to produce fully human monoclonal antibodies in-house. We are also able to customize the antibodies by modifying the chemical and physical properties focusing on the needs of the end user. We have established several naive, synthetic and disease-specific human antibody libraries to date. More importantly, we have developed the first human antibody library focusing on our local population. We have applied these libraries to develop more than 30 novel monoclonal antibodies against various disease targets. We are actively expanding and improving our technological capacity in order to ensure that we are able to compete globally with other laboratories around the world. There is strong linkage with Rezon Diagnostics and now we are developing a collaboration with another company, ETEC in Germany, where they are a diagnostic test manufacturer but they are more interested in the ELISA test. Aptama technology has been introduced and informed during HICO Phase 2 niche area under antibody engineering. Aptama is a functional oligonucleotide, generally single-stranded DNA or RNA that is able to form into a 3D structure which can be made into antibody. By using systematic evolutions of ligand by exponential enrichment uh, or select technology, Aptama is selected by isolating the oligonucleotide, the best oligonucleotide, the most binders to the target ligands. Currently, INFORM has successfully isolated single-stranded DNA and RNA aptama for infectious diseases such as for malaria and tuberculosis by using nitrocellulose and agarose bead-based selects. Our RNA aptama isolated from nitrocellulose-based selects showed very low dissociation constants at nanomolar value towards ICAM-1 in CD36 endothelial cells which is associated with severe malaria. Meanwhile, the RNA aptama isolated towards the 16-KDA recombinant mycobacterium tuberculosis for latent TB showed a KD at micromolar value. The DNA aptama isolated using agarose bit based select showed binding of selected aptama to ICAM-1 and 16 delta protein at nanomolar ratio. In order to enhance the aptama development, we are now embarking on the developments of the in silico aptama approach via bioinformatics. An MOU with UNIKL and BioGenes will soon be signed for collaboration on the bioinformatic application of nucleic acid protein interaction. This partnership will propel new research and innovation to improve the select technology at INFORM. The Phase 2 and Phase 3 HICO has thus enabled the establishment of the select technology facility in INFORM. We have conducted select workshop and hosted local and international scientists who requested research training on select technology in INFORM.
First and foremost, Inform would like to thank the Ministry of Higher Education for recognizing the strength of Inform in diagnostics. In the last 10 years, when Inform was first awarded with the Higher Institution Center of Excellence status, we have set out to bridge the gap between current diagnostics and future precision diagnostics. With the funding that was received from Ministry of Higher Education, Inform was able to cultivate several new technologies which has enabled us to stay ahead in the diagnostic research arena. Technologies that were successfully developed at Inform for the last 10 years has allowed Inform to continue improving diagnostics for infectious diseases, particularly neglected tropical diseases that has plagued the bottom billion as well as expanding our horizons by moving into the ever-elusive cancer diagnostics. With technologies from biomarker discoveries to prototype development such as recombinant antibody technology, Aptima technology, rapid test kit technologies and mammalian expression technology, Inform can now put our expertise in diagnostics to try to tackle cancer-based diagnostics. The recognition provided by Ministry of Higher Education has also allowed Inform to further nurture young scientists in the country as these new technologies developed a highly sought after, allowing for better nation building. Aside from that, with our strength in diagnostics, we have also worked with several industrial and academic partners, both providing the necessary help at the international level and national level. Our latest venture with the Malaysian company has yielded a possible nucleic acid test kit against COVID-19, which in hope would help the country fight this terrifying pandemic. Last but not least, we would like to sincerely thank Ministry of Higher Education and our panel of auditors who have been ever so patient and generous, which without them, we will not be able to achieve the levels that we are at now.